It's a type of cancer that kills more than prostate, breast, and colon cancer combined. Here today is my friend Laura Sherman, who is fighting for her life against lung cancer. Let's talk about the statistics. They're grim. What do you want people to know? When someone is diagnosed with lung cancer, they have about a 17% survival rate up to five years. 83% of the people diagnosed with lung cancer don't make it. And I believe it's lack of research. I believe many people think, oh, they were smokers, they deserve it, those kinds of things. And, mm -hmm. and I, what I believe is we need more research dollars. Let's talk about the smoking component because it's important to note that not everyone who's diagnosed with lung cancer has smoked. Right. 10 to 15 percent of the people diagnosed with lung cancer never smoked. Of course, there's some people who did, but many have quit 20, 30, 40 years ago and are getting cancer. Um, I smoked for a while, um, but my father and his father died of lung cancer, so um, we talk that we can probably, in a petri dish at some point, prove that it was a family thing. And not related to smoking. Right. You are in, featured in a documentary um, and it really looks at living at life's end. Why did you decide to get involved in this project? So what are you hoping that people that learn same. from it? Well, I hope, you know, I, having lung cancer, I've had some new thoughts, um, like talking to my son and my family about what the end of my life might look like. I tell them, I'm going to live till I'm 94, don't worry. <laughs> but, you know, I want to be sure people you know know how to talk about it not be afraid of it and the documentary that was done is kind of making that okay you can you can talk even you know Lee you and your husband you know should should know what what you want to do if you had an end of life event come sooner than later because you never know and it could happen at any time and why not be prepared and there are local doctors who are actually featured in that documentary as well how are you doing? I'm doing well. I, I'm, I'm clear. I, like six months ago, I had a clear, and so I'm at about two and a half years, and, you know, planning on kicking cancer booty, and um, planning to live till I'm 94, and, you know, I just keep plugging away, and, um, you know, people, I think, when they are diagnosed with cancer, uh, particularly the aggressive ones that take away some of your life things, um, it can be hard, it can be emotional. Um, but I think, you know, my message is I, I'm trying, I want to beat cancer while I'm alive. I don't want anyone in my family, any of the other generations to ever have a lung cancer diagnosis. So I try to work with Free to Breathe and they're a uh, lung cancer advocacy research kind of place. and. Actually, it's coming up January 34, 31st. We do a yoga thon, and we've done some things for carbon cancer. And you know, whatever I can do to try and change things, I try. Well, Laura, we appreciate it and wish you the best on your continued journey. We'll Thank be right you. Back after the break.